At this hour in Washington, the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing arguments over whether former President Donald Trump can be criminally prosecuted. The outcome could have major implications on the special counsel's 2020 election interference case against the former president, as well as this year's presidential race. Here's Skylar Henry. Protesters gathered outside the Supreme Court Thursday, where justices heard arguments about whether former President Donald Trump should be free from criminal prosecution, a claim he reiterated at a campaign stop in New York. Uh, we have a big case today in the Supreme Court on presidential immunity. A president has to have immunity. If, it, if you don't have immunity, you just have a ceremonial president. Trump's lawyers argued that a former president has immunity from prosecution when it comes to official acts during his tenure in office. Without presidential immunity from criminal prosecution, there can be no presidency as we know it. Some justices seem skeptical of that argument. If the president decides that his rival is a corrupt person and he orders the military or orders someone to assassinate him, is that within his official acts that for which he can get immunity? It would depend on the hypothetical. In filings, the special counsel argues that instead of an official act, Trump was working to carry out a, quote, private scheme to remain in power by fraud. Such presidential immunity has no foundation in the Constitution. The Supreme Court's decision will determine whether special counsel Jack Smith can try Trump for his alleged efforts to interfere with the 2020 election. Two lower courts have already rejected Trump's claims of immunity, but legal experts say it's possible the Supreme Court will look for a middle ground. They may not go the full distance that Trump is requesting, but they might be willing to recognize a more limited form of criminal immunity. The Supreme Court's decision is expected by July. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court. There is a chance that the Supreme Court does send this back to the lower courts, leading to further delays. If it sides with the Justice Department, it remains whether to be seen if the special counsel will have enough time to try the case before the November election.